What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is about Jimmy Walker, who played JJ on Good Times, the hits sitcom of the 70s. Dishing out what went on behind the scenes with his cast members. The reason why I'm making this video is for those of my viewer who may have been curious about some of the things that go on behind the scene or had went on behind the scene at the height of popularity of the hit sitcom, Good Times. Regardless if it was JJ or Bernadette who played Thelma or any of the other cast. Let's get started. Shout outs to everyone for supporting my channel, viewing my channel, subscribing to my channel, donating to my channel. I said it before and I'll say it again. Without you, I am nothing. And please continue to support the Brian Watkins channel. Also, hit that subscribe button for you new viewers. Welcome. And also be on the lookout for my uh, super chat. Also, my other one is my uh, t-shirt line and many other things to come. But again, hit that subscribe button so you can have a chance to view all of my um, films that come up. And also hit that bell. So you can get an instant notification when I upload and also you have a chance to win cash and prizes. So let's get started. I've learned that Jimmy Walker, who played JJ on Good Times, he said that the one that played his mother, Esther Rowe, may she rest in peace. And the one that played his father, John Allen, he said that they were never friends. He said the only time that they spoke to one another was on the set. He said he didn't have her phone number or his number. He said now him and James, they talk a little bit more now, but they were never friends. And he said that um, all of the other cast, one that played his sister Thelma, one that played his little brother Michael, the one that played the next door neighbor, Rolona, which I have forgot because I was a kid. Um, I do remember, I admit, viewers, when you hear the word good times, who comes to mind first? Post it in my comment section. Now, I got to admit, when I hear the word good times about that hit sitcom, I got to admit, there's only really two people that cross my mind. J.J. or when Janet Jackson came on. I said, oh, of course, you know, no. But they were um, upset with him because, I, like I said, I was about six or seven years old. And I do remember the catchy term that he would use, dynamite. I do remember it taking a powerful spinoff in, I think, what all the popular celebrity magazines at the time, um, if I'm not mistaken, I stand to be corrected, Right On Magazine with uh, the Dynamite t-shirts, the Dynamite posters, um, the hat that he wore. You know, I now mind you, uh, I still like, you know, Jimmy Walker who played J.J., um, I liked all the cats, but I, I really honestly have to admit, I admit, uh, to me, J.J. was the star of the show. Uh, viewers, please put down in my comment section who you, according to your viewing and opinion, who was the star of the show of Good Times? Please post it. I want to know. Now, what's shocking to me, he was saying that the more and more that he became popular among all the rest of his castmates, the, the, the jealousy got really, really bad. And with me being a kid at the time that this was out, 
you know, none of that was ever shown. So I was forced to believe that everything was okay. But I've learned, and you can look on YouTube and see the interviews yourself where you can hear right out of his mouth on all the crazy stuff that went on behind the scenes among his castmates from Good Times. See, I did not know that that was the late Esther Rose show. I didn't know she had got it from a spinoff on a show that she played on. I admit, I, I automatically thought that Good Times was written around JJ and it was his show. I felt bad for her, but I didn't know. There's things on there that the one that played Ramona talked about. And it's it's just mind blowing that those kind of things happen behind such a highly popular sitcom. It just blew me away. I'm like, wow, so nobody was speaking to him. Only when they had to do their lines. He said that once they like and cut. He said there was no talking amongst them. He said they never did anything together or nothing. And I, I wonder, too, before I knew about this, I was like, wow, why did they take so long to do a Good Times reunion, which was, took place in 2015? Now I know why. And this is like, wow, this is crazy. So viewers, put your comments down uh, after viewing on YouTube what I just told you about. Put your comments down. I, I want to know how each and all of you feel about this, because... This just totally blew me away. I'm thinking as a kid, you know, good times and all that. And I'm like, okay, it was, I, I admit, it, it was common to believe that JJ was the star of the show. And not to mention Bernadette, her beautiful self, you know. But she, I always looked at her as a co-star. You know, I admit, I looked at all of them as co-star and JJ, uh, the star, and then, you know, when Janet Jackson came on, she started to shine because we all knew who she was. But uh, put your comments down at the bottom. Don't you go anywhere and I want to know. Thank you.